Okay, today I'm going to show you how to auto save uh, anything in the text field uh, using jQuery and PHP. Just like that, every minute we're going to auto save whatever's in, in here in the body and title. And then every 15 seconds after that, that'll disappear. Okay, and then this is our drafts saved in our database. Okay. And then when we send it, that's what we're gonna get. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is include our jQuery file and make sure it's the newest version, 1.4.4 is the newest one they're on right now. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, ready function. And then inside of that, we're gonna use the set interval function. And what this does is every minute, okay, this is milliseconds. So every minute, we're gonna run whatever is in this function, okay? So you can change this to whatever you want. You can make it 10 minutes, 30 seconds, whatever you want. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the text field value, okay? Okay, and that's right here, text field. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the text area value which is, oh no, okay, this is the text field, and this is text area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get, we're gonna use the ID uh, text field, and that's how we're gonna get the value. So the ID, right there, we get the value of that ID, and then we're gonna make that a variable, right there, called title, and then the text area, we're gonna call body. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put this into the data or the data string right here for our uh, submission form submission, so we can post this to insert.php file, and then if it's a success, we're gonna print. Well, not print, we're just gonna display, we're gonna get whatever comes back from that page. Okay, and we're gonna call that draft. Which, we don't even need that. Not on this one. Okay, so the success function, what we're gonna do is display a message saying saved as a draft. You can make that whatever you want. Okay. And then after we show this, if that's a success, after we show it, we're going to use the set timeout function. So, when this gets called, okay, we're going to call this as soon as as soon as the set interval function gets called, we're going to we're going to call the set timeout at the same time. So, 15 seconds after we show this, we're going to hide that message. And you can change that to whatever you want to. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is if somebody hits the send, the ID send button for our form, we're gonna call that function. Everything inside of there, we're gonna we're gonna do. So that would be this right here, ID of send for our form. First thing we're gonna do is get the text field ID. We get the value. We're gonna put that in a variable. We're gonna get the text area ID text area value, and we're gonna put that in a variable. Okay, and then we're gonna put it into the string. Okay. And if you want to learn more on uh, the form, the Ajax. 
Uh, I'm going to put a tutorial up on it to show you um, how to use it. It's uh, very easy to use. So if you're wondering um, what this is right here, what we're doing, I'm not going to explain it right now. I'll make a tutorial uh, to show you how to use it. But basically, what we're doing is we're sending uh, the value title and body to the insert.php page. Okay. So if that is a success, okay, we're going to call this draft. You can. I'll explain this in the later tutorial I'm going to make on um, submitting a uh, posted uh, and get method using the Ajax. So when this is a success, what we're going to do is we're going to display this uh, message sent. Okay. And then we're going to hide uh, the get drafts ID and then the hide uh, class, we're going to put this for the HTML. So. So on the insert.php page, basically what we're doing is we're getting the title value of what we just sent to this page, and we're gonna echo it out right here. So right here, we're gonna get back what we sent it, which is the title and the body. So in here, on the hide class, which in here, that's what we're gonna display. So we're gonna replace all this with that. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is if somebody clicks on get drafts ID, which is right here, this link, this is gonna be the link to get all the drafts in the database. So if somebody clicks on that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the draft.php file and then what we're going to do is we're going to use this function again success function and we're going to use the hide class and we're going to display what we get back from the draft page so the draft page looks like this now this is the username um, I'm assuming that you already have a uh, user login or something a way to get your uh, a user's name okay because you're gonna need that to get from the database so if you have a login system you can just change this uh, to whatever your user's name is so like let's say you don't use username and you you use user okay like that that's what your user equals you just take that and put it right here now your user or you could just uh, get the session user like this okay if you store uh, users in a session or something then you could just do something like that however you uh, gather your user's information so I have mine set just to test so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this new variable and this is back to the uh, index page and that's right here that's this link right here so that'll bring us back to the index page Okay, and then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna select all from drafts. Now this right here, this is the database name of where we're gonna store um, all of our drafts. So you can name this whatever you want, wherever you want to store them. And then we're gonna say where user equals username. So that would be test okay or die and then we're going to display the <clears throat> mysql error okay so <clears throat> and then on that we're going to use a while loop 
and I'm going to make a tutorial on this in the future on the while loops and I'll show you how to use them. So our rows is going to equal uh, MySQL fetch array. Okay, we're going to use that function. And we put the get draft inside of there. Okay. So down here, uh, message ID equals rows message ID, is we're going to get from a database. And then title equals our title row in our database. Then what we're going to do down here is we're going to put it into a link. Okay. So we're going to echo out that we're going to display the title. And then we're going to put the message ID into an ID. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're going to use this for. Okay. And then we're going to echo it out right here. So I'm going to show you right now what we use this for. Okay. So here's what we use it for. If somebody clicks on the draft a class, which, which is right here. Okay. What we're going to do is when they click on that, which is going to, it's going to display however many drafts you have in the title. Okay, however many you have your, in your database. We're going, to just, we're going to echo those out as a link. Okay, like this. So what's going to happen is when somebody clicks on this, we're going to get their ID. Okay, right here. Okay, we're going to get this. So whatever you click, whatever link that is, okay, we're going to get that ID from the database that we put in the ID field. Okay, we're gonna get that ID. Okay, we're gonna tell it we want to get the ID value. Now we're gonna put that in a variable of message ID. Then we're gonna send send it as message ID, okay, to draft.php. Okay, here's draft.php file. Now make sure you include your connection to your database. Okay, username again is test. Now, what next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the posted value, okay, which is message ID. This is what we just posted to this um, file. We're gonna call that message ID. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all from drafts where username equals username and message ID equals the message ID that we just sent. Okay. Then what we're going to do is use a while loop again. Okay. Just like on the other file. And then we're going to get the message ID, title, and the body this time. Okay. The last file we just got the message ID and the title. This time we're going to get the message ID, title, and body. Okay from our database okay now this is the form that we're gonna get so basically all we're gonna do is put the title as a value and the body as a value in the text field okay and then we're gonna echo it out so I'm gonna show you basically what we're doing so basically what we're doing is you go into your drafts you pick one and we replace the form with this form. So here's our first form, okay? Now this form is, is gonna disappear. See, I put T in there, boom, gone. Now we got this. So I hope you guys understand what we're doing here. Basically, we're replacing the inbox